What up, gang? Carolina Jack Pop Time coming at you on Monday morning. It's a little bit after 10 a.m. Hope y'all are doing well today. If you're new around here, consider staying true around here. Subscribe to the Carolina Jackpot channel. We do these college football videos all the time, and we also have a heck of a lot of fun doing it. Live shows, etc. I didn't do a live show last night. We took a little bit of a break, but we will be back at that on Wednesday evening. Remember, the Callaway's College Football Bowl Pick'em Challenge. You only got a few more days to get your money in, folks. You got to have your picks made. Also, by the time the bowl kicks off on Saturday afternoon, I believe that would be um, the Myrtle Beach Bowl, if I'm not mistaken. Link down in the description box below to the Robin Kale website page where you will read all about it. Pay Carolina Jackpot your $20 and then submit your picks. It's a one-time shot. Picking these games against the spread, every bowl game, and the two playoff games, um, Texas versus uh, Washington and Michigan versus Florida State. Oh, no, excuse me, Michigan versus Alabama in the uh, college football playoffs. Yeah, and then we'll have a tiebreaker of sorts there as well, but we've never had a tie, so I've never had to use that. Getting into the uh, subject of today's video. Uh, so South Carolina hosted a number of uh, guys in the transfer portal <coughs> this weekend that they've made offers to uh, for some official visits. And uh, from everything that I'm reading, it says that everything went really well. Everything went great. Well, to Carolina Jackpot, I'm reading a little bit more into this, and it doesn't sound like it went all that well to me. So over on the uh, South Carolina 24-7 Sports website, thebigspur.com, there is a, an article about uh, you know, how they stand with some of these people. Visit with Rocket Sanders apparently went really well. That's all we know. Then the other two young men that they uh, had that they were looking at to play wide receiver, Jaron Brown from Coastal Carolina and uh, one uh, Jake McGowan, the young man from Vanderbilt, said their visits went well. South Carolina's definitely interested in them, but they're going to take other visits. Jade, uh, the, uh, Jaron Brown, of course, going to Auburn uh, to see the dirty preacher Hugh Freeze this coming weekend. And it said they have NIL demands that South Carolina might not be able to meet. So basically, uh, with all these people visited, Shane Beamer sent out one welcome home, which is what he sends out whenever he gets a commitment from somebody. Don't know who it is, though. Uh, it, look, I mean, it, look, this is just about damn ridiculous. This is ridiculous. How can you not have enough NIL money to pay these people? You've lost Juice Wells, who was the NIL king of the SEC, uh, according to what I've been told. So you're not paying him anymore. You're not paying Spencer Rattler anymore. You're not paying Xavier Leggett anymore. So where's all this money going? I don't, you know, I don't understand this. I know you had to pay the players that are there to get them to stay around. You know, every one of them were getting a little something on Twitter signed with the Garnet Trust. Yeah, uh, but, but you don't have enough money to get these people there. This is ridiculous. One of them, the McGowan kid, is from South Carolina. He wanted to play for South Carolina. And you still ain't got him to damn commit? What the hell are you doing? You know, I like Shane Beamer as a person, but, you know, I, I think this dude, and, and, you know, from all that I've heard about his great recruiting prowess with the Steve Spurrier teams and how great he is, I ain't seeing it. I'm not seeing it. I don't think you could sell buy one, get one free cooter on a troop train. I don't think you could give away ice water in the Gobi Desert. Be trying to give it to some homeless bum. Been thirsty for nine days. Nah, I'm good. It's unreal. I'm so tired of having to report bad news of having to, or having to report no news. Nothing positive. Get some guys in there. Fill some damn holes up. Spend the money. You know, this NIL crap, it doesn't all have to be funded by the fans. The school can fund some of that stuff, too. 
Now, you didn't sell out every home game this year, but you sold out more than you didn't. You mean to tell me there's not any money, to, no NIL money there somewhere to help facilitate paying these people? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. That's why I think the whole racket is shady and it's a, it's a, it's a mess. It's an absolute mess. I don't know who you got to commit. It was probably one. They had a JUCO guy there from Bamberg, South Carolina. Like a six foot four, three hundred and forty pound defensive tackle. Now, I mean, we need that, but you know, one out of ten is not good. And then you're talking about these other people with NIL demands, and then the Overton uh, kid from Texas A and M. I also read in the article and said, they said, yeah, he had a really good visit, but we'd be really surprised if he ends up being a Gamecock. Hey, what the hell? You know, all these guys did was use you. They used you. They used you for a free weekend away to get some good food, maybe hang out with some pretty girls for a little bit, uh, maybe, you know, hang out and talk to some coaches, fuck around, and be like, I ain't going there. What is the problem? What is the problem? I, 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 I'm just as angry as any of the rest of the Gamecock fans are. We're just really sick of this stuff. We need some positive news, Shane Beamer. We need some positive news. It's up to you to make that stuff happen. On another front, I also noticed yesterday Mr. Xavier McLeod, the young man from Camden, South Carolina, who Shane Beamer kind of uh, mutually dismissed from the team back in October, former uh, four-star recruit uh, on the defensive line. Uh, it's been talking to people at Georgia. He's a a heavy lean to uh, to Georgia now. So he's in the transfer portal, I guess, after Beamer kicked him off the team. He kicked him off the team because this guy didn't, he didn't want to go to Arkansas to play. Uh, he didn't want to travel because he didn't want to burn his red shirt. It was also said in there he didn't want to go to Arkansas because it was too far and it was too cold. I'm not sure I believe that. I, I can't see anybody saying that. But I can see him refusing to play. Uh, and then there may have been some other factors there, too. I'm not sure some off-the-field stuff. Possibly, anyway, he was removed from the team. Uh, and that's just, you know... And then he's over there on this Dog Post website. Y'all can go check that out, dogpost.com. I saw it yesterday. He said there was an interview in there with him. Just talking all kind of crap about the South Carolina program. It wasn't getting developed. Um... You know, I was only getting to play a few plays a game, and he, he wasn't giving up. Hey, dummy, you get developed in practice, too. Evidently, you weren't that good. I, mean, I I don't think that our coaching staff is, I don't even think it's mediocre at this point. I think it's a pretty bad coaching staff and pretty bad evaluators of talent. But I, I can't see that, that they can see that you can make plays. I mean, they do have eyeballs. I just don't think you're ready yet. You aren't good. So I wasn't getting developed because I wasn't getting to play. That really doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't make any sense. I wasn't getting to play, but I don't want to burn my red shirt. I, I don't want to play, or I, I do want to play, but then I don't want to play. What Which one is it? So talking all kind of trash about the South Carolina program, which is just par for the course. Uh, Mr. Xavier McLeod, uh, a fine upstanding citizen there. So anyway, uh, that's about all I got to say about that. Uh, we need some uh, some positive news to come from uh, you know the, all these visits they hosted. But, you know, we really uh, we're we're really hurting at some positions there. If he doesn't get some people in there, some bodies uh, this this upcoming season, it's not going to be pretty. I don't think it's going to be pretty anyway. But it's it's definitely going to be a stinker um, if we continue to go down the path that we're going down right now. Uh, well, we're, we're actually not going down a path right now. Uh, the vehicle is actually crashing and burning as we speak. So, well, uh, if I have anything positive to report, I'll let you know about it, guys. And if I have anything negative to report, I'll certainly let you know about that, too. I appreciate it, guys. I will see you all later on. Peace. I'm out of here still. Go Gamecocks. Spurs up my toes up. Ah, ah, ah. Woo!